Nick Suriano in 2019 in overtime. So, TJ, he knows what this stage is like. Well, just looking at the Oklahoma State uniform, they've won more team titles than anyone by far. And so you put a couple of uh, Olympic champions, John Smith, the head coach, versus Cale Sanderson from Penn State. You put Oklahoma State versus Penn State. Boy, that's something that you can start a NCAA finals with. Fix has already emerged with plenty of energy with a leap onto the mat and a tumble into the circle. Number one versus number two to get things started here at 133. Now Fix does like to force wrestling, getting flurries. He's really good at anticipating moves and you better be good going against uh, RBY, who's one of the fastest, quickest, powerful young wrestlers in this field. Jim, you made note of RBY's speed throughout the course of this weekend and seeing it all throughout the season in the Big Ten. How does Fix best counter that? Well, you know, Fix likes to go ahead and attack that left leg of RBY. He's got a nice inside trip. And the nice thing about this match is that you, both guys like to mix it up. They have excellent defense. They don't work for stalemates. They look to improve their position. They look to score. So the, the battle here is going to be who can get to the best angle and get their shots off and who can finish on the mat. Be a lot of great scrambles in this match. I don't know how much scoring there will be. Matt wrestling may make a difference. The legendary head coach in his 30th season in Stillwater, John Smith for Oklahoma State, the program which has won more titles than any other with 34. You know, Mike, you don't want to make a big mistake early. You know, you just, to, to shooting just for the sake of being shooting, just because it feels good to be out there. So you're going to see a lot of work in the head, work in the elbow ties, chasing some things down, get a feel for the match, get the heart rate up a little bit more for good reason, because you're being physically active. But uh, don't expect a lot of uh, risk taking in the first part of this match. See that over collar right there with the left arm. Fix likes to work off that. And see that uh, RBY is keeping that left leg back. That's a, a leg that uh, Fix likes to attack, but he likes to go to both sides. Have a misdirection shot there that time to get RBY moving. Roman Bravo Young. Both these guys have so much artillery. And of course, Dayton Fix, been on the world stage, been on the world team been in the finals, but in the last year and a half, RBY has taken himself and established himself at the elite level as well. Yeah, I think he's gotten more physical for the weight class, and if you take a bad shot on him with a bad angle, he can get around you as quick as anybody, just hops over, flies out of his stance, and, and gets behind you. Still live here, gentlemen, still live, 15. Dayton Fix has kept his hands on RBY. RBY likes to put, uh, work from space a little bit, but uh, Dayton Fix has made sure he's closing the gap. Yeah, one thing you, I agree, Tim, the one thing you see from Fix is he likes to stalk and then he lays his hands on you, but you're not going to get many shots from space. Take a look at that. Fix is going to go ahead and choose the down position there, his choice. Went flip there with the red and green ankle bands. We welcome those of you watching postseason basketball, and we welcome you to the apex of college wrestling. You've joined us for the finals of the NCAA Wrestling Championships just underway with the first of 10 matches. Starting at 133 pounds, this tournament begins with 330 wrestlers down to just 20 and 10 will be crowned champions tonight. We're glad to have you with us here in St. Louis, hosting the event for the ninth time. I'm Mike Cousins, joined by Tim Johnson, the Hall of Famer, Jim Gibbons, the national championship coach and wrestler, and Quinn Kesnick reporting that side as well. Unfortunately for everybody, they haven't missed much. No takedown in the first period, and you got Roman Bravo Young from Penn State in the top position. 
where I think that uh, RBY has been underrated, but I don't underrate him anymore in that top position. He's very tough on top. Beautiful little back trip there, as you mentioned, Tim. Good job of getting, you know, when there's no score in the first period, and you're in the top position, you don't want to give any easy escape. You want to be able to stay in this top position and ride as long as you can. Already 52, 53 seconds of riding time there. Notice how he has that back leg hook there. I, Penn State works on this. All their wrestlers do such a good job of using the whole body, pinching the legs to keep their opponent on their hands and the weight forward. Yeah, then he scooped it. His, and you see that uh, basically trying to go a cast over right there as Dayton Fix. He's tried that a second time, and RB Hawaii Roman Bravo Young has had it measured yep. there that time. So got a little. Uh, Ooh, and out of the crowd on that one here. Almost caught Fix on his back, so. 30. I ooh and ah a lot with RBY, and he did a great job there, Jim. You said measure of anticipating that. Yeah, so basically using that left arm now to come back and attack the ankle, far knee. An excellent job, and really kind of a surprise he's able to go ahead and ride as well as he did. He's gonna get a stall warning in the top position. Interesting call right there at that point, but. It gets a new start here for Dayton Fix. But you'll take that stall warning in this instance to be able to keep Dayton Fix down. Scoops that leg up again, showing great balance. One, four, three, two. Big period here for Roman Bravo Young, Penn State. They go three periods, seven minutes of regulation. Kale Sanderson, perfect 159 and 0 during his collegiate career, four NCAA championships. And John Smith, his squad last championship in 2006 for Oklahoma State. What you see there from that last period, the accumulation of two minutes of riding time for Penn State's Roman Bravo Young, the wrestler who finishes with more than one minute of riding time gets one point added to his score. So it's an effective two nothing lead for RBY and he's going in on a shot here. It's a yeah, it's a counter shot right there and he's able to go ahead and drop in on the leg. He's so quick at turning the corner when the guy comes straight in on him. Looking for a stalemate there, but interesting strategy guys. Fix went immediately for the release that really effectively gives Riding time for, for Bravo Young because he ends up, uh, you know, it's at 158 right now, so it's effectively a two point lead. Let's fix, gets a takedown, and starts working it. So he really needs a takedown to tie. Yeah, everything going RBY's way has been a nice job measuring all that first period and then the ride, unbelievable. And Dayton Fix, who's really good on top, said, not even going to try it. Basically gave the uh, escape on his feet, but. Uh, RBY keeping him from getting through his defense. And, and I think he's even better, Tim, when you put more forward pressure into RBY because he has the ability to go ahead and get that quick angle, take a counter shot, and it's the best at go-behinds in the country. Or jump overs. Yeah. He can go behind, he can jump over. He's incredible, and it's because of footwork. 45. Green, green, Riding time. Yeah, yeah, really. Riding time point was locked for RBY. So they had warning again on RBY, so that's one. It's one to one, but the riding time in favor of RBY, defending right now a potential national champion. Oh, wow. And another stall call. That's huge. No, I, I think, it, who'd they call the stall call on? Wow. Roman Bravo Young wow. RBY. Call for stalling. Good. Fix pushed him directly out. Let him go, let him go. So now they're effectively tied at 2-2. Amazing set of calls there within the last 25 seconds of wrestling. I just don't see that. Headed for overtime. And if that's the case, familiar territory for Dayton Fix as in his first trip to the finals against Nick Suriano of Rutgers in 2019, he went to overtime. And they'll do it again here in 2021. It's sudden victory in this first 60 second period. The first score wins it. Everything evens up at this point, so who's going to go ahead and take the risk at this point? Counter attempt there, going both directions. See how he went left and came back to the right. It's usually what he likes to finish with is heading in that right direction here, Roman Bravo Young. So 
I'd have to say at this point, guys, there's no score in this period. 30 seconds left. The tiebreaker probably favors Roman Brav Bravo again with his ability to ride so far in this match. Shot now circles around, gets the two. Just as the doctor ordered for the man, the fastest wrestler in the nation, and his go around, just like you said, Jim. Yep. Finishes it off going to the right. In a match that was looking like it was going to be taken away from him, stayed on the attack. Roman Bravo Young, Penn State's first champion at 133 pounds. And what a way to start the night. A victory in sudden victory for the junior from Penn State. What a performance there. Huge win. Take a look at the replay. Straight on attack here by Fix. Gets to that corner, drops back in. Immediately gets, gets the second ankle there. Ties the ankles up right there. Quick takedown. There's his boys. <laughs> and the champion coach and gonna get a trophy today. That's why they're all in uniform. It's been a familiar scene over the last decade of college wrestling. Let's go down to Quinn. You like watching that, Roman? What? What led to the takedown to win it in, in sudden victory? Yeah, you know, I was hanging on there at the end, but uh, just moved my feet, hit an angle, but I don't care what happened in that match. National title is a national title. You're the champ. What's this year been like? Man, it feels amazing. You know, I put a lot of work into this. People don't see, and, uh, you know, it's a lot of pressure sometimes, but got it done, and now I'm a national champ forever. It means a lot, especially for my family and my people back home. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So Nittany Nation sees a title. RBY sends Dayton Fix to a defeat for the second trip to the finals. He falls in overtime once again. We began the night at 130.